Hey everybody, it's George Whittem reporting for Whittem's World, and this is why I come to NAM. I know I keep saying that, but there's these products I keep hearing about that are very innovative, and Townsend Labs has a really unique microphone, and Julian's going to tell us all about it. How are you doing, Julian? Yeah, I'm doing great. How are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. So, tell yeah. us about the, the new mic system. Right, so what we ha have here is the Sphere Precision Microphone Modeling System by Townsend Labs. Um, it consists of this wonderful microphone over here, which is the L22, and it also consists of this plug-in that we can see here. Um, the microphone itself is a dual diaphragm FET condenser microphone, um, really kind of great quality right off the bat, you know, just a good sounding microphone. Um, but what's unique about it is that we, instead of just using it as a conventional dual diaphragm microphone, we're actually taking the front and the back sides of the capsule and they were bringing them out individually. So there's this uh, five pin connector at the bottom and that breaks out into two channels, uh, two standard XLRs. It's like a cable I used to use for a stereo mic I, I had that that's broke right. out into two channels. Yeah, that's right. So we're bringing out those two channels and then bringing that into your DAW um, where we have the plugin that does all the DSP magic. So you don't have to use any proprietary preamps to use the system? No, you can use any preamp. We recommend using a clean preamp um, so that there's not any kind of coloration. And we recommend against using uh, you know, EQ or uh, dynamics on the way in, uh, just so that we get the most accurate modeling. Uh, we just need to know uh, what the starting point is. So for us, the starting point is the microphone itself. And we ensure great consistency from unit to unit. And then you just need to apply the same gain on both channels, and you're good to go. So the software knows what that mic should sound like, and so it can accurately model maybe some other microphones? Yeah, exactly. So with the technology, what it allows us to do is we actually get sort of spatial information from the, the entire sound field. So with that, we can, we can very accurately model the 3D response of vintage and current production microphones in the space, including polar response and including proximity effect. And of course, that's incredibly powerful because microphones really are more than just a single point kind of sensor, right? They, they interact in, in the sound field, and that's what we're doing with this technology, modeling that. In addition to the modeling, we can actually also do a whole host of neat tricks that you couldn't do with the actual microphone itself. Uh, and that is uh, specifically optimizing the polar response of the microphone and uh, giving you a, a range of options that go way beyond what you could do with a conventional so mic. For, so for the less technical minded that might see our, our blog, a lot of these folks that watch are voice actors. It's a big voice acting community that I work in. What does it mean to be able to adjust the polar pattern? Well, what it means, for example, specifically, let's say uh, you know we're, we're doing a model of the U47, the, the legendary mic, um, and uh, it's, it's a fantastic sounding microphone, and a lot of people would want to have one. Uh, obviously, it's, it's cost prohibitive, even if you could find a good sounding one. $20,000 plus, maybe? Yep, exactly. Um, and what, what a few people, I think, know is that when you put it in cardioid, it's actually not a perfect cardioid. And uh, mo I mean, I don't, there is no such thing as a perfect microphone. But we can get a lot closer with the Sphere technology. So one thing that's important about a U47 in cardioid, it actually has a pretty significant rear pickup, specifically at high frequencies. So let's say you put down 20 grand and you got a U47 and you put it in a vocal booth uh, with a window right behind the mic, you have that rear lobe picking up reflections. Um, what we can give you is we can give you the exact sound of the U47 in cardioid, but we can fine tune the polar response to get rid of that annoying rear lobe. Um, so it's it's pretty powerful. And that's that amazing. Yeah. So even even if you're not trying to emulate an expensive or a vintage mic like that, to be able to fine tune the pickup pattern of, of the mic for any reason is really cool. Yeah, exactly. And you know, there's a there's a couple of things um, when it comes to uh, you know fine tuning the the, the room pickup. Um, we, for example, we give you the ability to listen to the backside of the microphone with the flip of a flip of a switch and uh, you can listen to kind of what reflections you're getting and, and figuring out where the positioning is best. And we can give you the option to seamlessly adjust the polar response to get rid of fan noise, for example, on a computer that is maybe sitting nearby, you know. And we can do all of that with a feature that we call off-axis correction. Um, actually maintaining the tonality of the microphone pickup but changing the polar pattern. So the models that we have at the moment are the 47, the 49, 67, 87 and the C12 and there'll be two more 
models added for free in the next release, which is the 251 and uh, the C800, so a lot of classic models here. Um, but we also give you some fun other options, um, like small diaphragm condensers and even a ribbon, um, and there'll be more, uh, more products to come in the future. So, and of course, with all of these microphones, I can go in and very quickly adjust the pickup pattern. Um, the teal colored LED here, LEDs here, they indicate the patterns that the original mics natively had. Um, but we also give you in all the in-between patterns, of course. And uh, we also give you the uh, couple of high-pass filters. Uh, we model the original ones as well, but we also give you some added options. Um, and of course, really important for voiceover as well, we have a proximity control. Uh, so you can very quickly adjust how much the microphone reacts when you get really close in on the mic. Um, and uh, depending on the polar pattern you have selected, uh, that really allows you to hone in the, the, the sound that you're going for. But it also gives you the ability to match different takes. If you maybe weren't quite as close to the mic on one take and really were closer on another one, this is a parameter. All of these parameters can be automated after the fact. And of course, this is really powerful when you're uh, comping between different takes on a voiceover. Yeah, that's what's amazing is that this isn't something you have to get right the first time when you're tracking it. You're recording sort of raw audio, and then in the post, you're fixing these things, depending on how you use the plugin, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So uh, all the recordings that you do, and we see this here in the background in Pro Tools, uh, this is a, a voice recording right there. And uh, it's a two-channel two recording. And then we have the plugin, and that does all the magic. And I, I can automate it. You know, I can tweak it after the fact and, and really kind of uh, go for the sound that I, that I envision. Um, we can get a, l a little bit more depth here by switching to dual view, um, where we can actually introduce a second virtual microphone that is perfectly face coherent with the uh, with the first one. So we can we can blend different tonalities from different microphones together if we want to. And and this is what I was talking about earlier. It's called off-axis correction. Let's just have a look at the scenario that I mentioned before. So we're using a 47. Uh, set to cardioid, and you can actually see this tiny little lobe here. And as soon as I switch on off axis correction, that's gone, and we have a perfect cardioid. So, pretty neat. What is the yellow uh, sort of moving pattern that you see in the middle? What's that re telling you right now? Right, so the, the little moving uh, meter right here, it's a, it's a polar meter essentially. So it gives you a sense of directional information coming into the microphone. And uh, right now we're on, on the show floor. There's a lot of low frequency stuff all around. So it's pretty much more or less even. Um, and there's people right next to it. But it's actually quite useful uh, to identify where sound is coming from and sometimes to uh, find out where the best uh, point of rejection is, uh, even if you can't see what's going on in the, in the, in the uh, studio. So you can use the, the meter to kind of find out where your best rejection would be. Um, obviously, ultimately, your ears should be the judge, but that's just a nice visual indication. That is fantastic. So when are we, when are we going to be able to get your hands on these, and what do you expect them to be selling for? Right, so uh, first and foremost, the, the, the microphone comes with the plugin, um, but the plugin is already available for free for download, and there's pre recorded content on townsendlabs.com where you can go in, all you need to do is register an account, and you can download the native plugin, and you can download some pre recorded tracks just to play around with it. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Um, and the microphone uh, will be shipping in the next 30 to 45 days, and it's going to be 1500 US. Very nice. Well, thanks very much. Is it a dealer network or direct selling? No, it'll be a dealer network. Okay, so um, in the U.S., it's going to be Sweetwater and Vintage King for the moment. Gotcha. All right. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for stopping by.